This time, tomorrow, I'm gonna be well into a sheep butchering. That's a lot of kitchen scraps. Chickens will kind of eat this. And what they eat will, com will compost. Kind of picked at this squash. They've certainly eaten the seeds. But if this were a pig, all that would be gone. You guys are pigs with feathers. But you're not quite as strong. And they won't eat those collard green stems. So Jonah, uh, I need you to get some grain to the breakfast posse. Mm -hmm. You can come with me to help me do the sea monsters, get them water, and move the ices, and then I would say have you do everything else, but there's no everything else, is there? Chores That's all the chores, because I need to get, I'll have to help you with the luchadors. So I guess just help me so that then I can go get ready for butchering. Okay. Yesterday, totally cleaned up that dry feed. Totally. This is where wet feed was. I think they trample it worse because it's wet. And it just like clump, clumps up. I see two guinea clowns made it into the coop. Well, I meant to have Jonah do these chores while I get ready, but I just ended up doing them. We got about an hour to milking. Still gotta get water to the icy Gideon's calling me. This jacket is overkill. I just have to get a new sweater. You can go, just eat your snack and then come. And I just realized it's trash day. I got 45 minutes. Let's see if we can't find. Let's let's get ready for the sheep butchering from step one all the way to finish. Step one uh, would be knife. A sheep butchering is very peaceful and it doesn't have to involve a gun, which is nice. I don't see the knives out here. Jonah says they're at the barn, but we went through this last time. All right, mom says they're in here. They're not in here. Do you want the sheep this morning, Beck? Good for you. Oh, so they're gonna have one more paddock today, I see. Yeah. Then where do you want to run them? Because we need to think about that. Wherever you want to run them, set it up this evening because we're butchering tomorrow. <laughs> what about the in the yard there? Yeah, that's fine. And then kind of go down that garden row. So maybe we have two or three more days. Yeah, it's totally fine. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to see how they react with um, out the weathers there. You know? Oh yeah. See, we definitely don't want to move in pasture with the weathers. No. So. We're harvesting these weathers. That's what they're for, for meat. That's why and we bought them. Yeah, we thought we were gonna have to raise them a little bit, but Greg gave us adult weathers, so it was nice. Yes? Okay, wow, he's got his shoes, Mom. Wow. You want a phone? Call the Inquirer? You did it, <laughs> good job. You playing with your cards? Yeah. Okay, cool. Hey, will you do something for me, just Josiah? After we knife the sheep, we need to bleed it out and let's save the blood. There's a green, feed. we go get one of our green feeders that we used on the pigs. Thank you. All right, Jonah, come with me. Let's find these knives. Where do you want to do this at? The barn. I guess that makes sense. But uh, we, we want to harvest them in place to not stress them out. So how are we going to get them over here after we've killed them? Well, we could use the tractor or we could use Henry. Or the mower. Oh, let's just use Henry. Him. Let's just put them both in here. Hey, show me these knives. There they are. Hand me all the knives. Let's yeah. get a box for them. That's it. No, there's more. I'll go get them. Where are they? Probably in the corner. Should they be? Papa? Yeah. Here. Where would they be in here, Luz? Okay, so 
the weathers are inside. Oh, no, one's out. Never mind. One of the sheep is out. But, so yesterday I came down here in the afternoon and they were all inside. And I got the ewes in the corner like I normally do. And the weathers just ran out and the ewes stayed. So, I'm wondering if we can do that again today. Hey, come on, Blossom. Get in the corner. Let's do the drill. Rider, you're no rider. Hey, it worked. Good job, guys. Everybody's getting trained. So they're trained, but the weathers are leaving tomorrow, so. It's great that they got trained, but whatever. Thank you, Josiah, for our bully bucket. You know what this is telling me, Jonah? What? We need to spend a little more time on breaking down and putting things away, because now all we do is spend our time getting ready for a butchering, finding stuff. We ought to just be going to collect stuff. Oh, bees nest! All right, well, we- I uncovered a bees nest. Search is over in the corn crib. We uncovered a bees nest. So, Let's try in here again. Maybe they're over here. Mom's cleaning up. Maybe she hadn't put it back on the gray shelf yet. Me too. I like these a bit. Is this them? Wait, maybe they're in this. Ah, it's empty. You said they were on this gray shelf. They're not on this gray shelf. Hey, maybe this is it. Maybe this is it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look what I found. Let's put these knives in this. All right, we've killed, we've bled. We'll leave that here because I don't know if we're gonna go down to the yard sheep first or the luchador. We're still trying to figure out which of the two of the withers we're gonna keep. Okay, Jonas, so then we bring them over. So where's Henry? Oh, he's down there. He's... Is that what we decided, Henry? We gotta go fix him up. Okay, let's go fix him up. How are we on wheel pins? Because we found a wheel pin. So how is this thing working? Did we have an extra? No. It doesn't come with extras. Oh, okay. So there you go. Can you switch it out? Can this pin be the pin for the handle? No. We just have this pin from the wheel, is it the right size? Yeah, okay. So they're all the same. So all take the same. this. Aren't you going to Home Depot yep. today to get a freezer? Yeah, <laughs> we need more freezers. Fridge, freezer, freezer, fridge, freezer, freezer. Gonna be two more freezers. There's another box freezer right there. That's what 100% meat sufficient looks like. What did you do with that pen? I'll put it in the back trunk. Okay, are you gonna remember? How are you gonna remember to get it? I'll remember. I'm done spending time with the sheep. We got the new sheep fence up outside. You guys ready to go? First one out. Now they all go. Where's your, where's their favorite place, Lily? Right there underneath that tree. Yeah. Are they happy here, Lily? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. When we were putting up the paddock, Lily said to me, I think they're really going to like this one. So, and it is, it is beautiful. And it's next to the creek, and the creek is going so nicely, and... Chain around it. If it held up a pig, it's gonna hold up a sheep. Oh, for sure. Pop, it's funny how that little piece of metal will hold up a 300 pound pig. Make sure this thing's gonna start. The tractor started. We're not gonna use the tractor, we're just gonna need to get it out of the way. We eviscerate, we're gonna need something for the skin and the guts. So how about our poop wheelbarrow? The poop wheelbarrow's in use, Jonah down at the stanchion, so we need to think of it tomorrow, because we're gonna use it today. Heck, we could probably maybe put it in that. If we forget our wheelbarrow, we could put one in here and you could go get the other. It's pretty simple. Yeah. It's pretty simple. Maybe a stainless steel bowl for, no, because we'll have the butcher package up the, the liver and stuff, but we'll we could put, still store it. We'll just put it in the, the liver and the heart, huh? We'll just put it in the open area. Open area. The cavity where the guts were. Okay. Put it in there. And then we'll bag it. So let's ask mom where our big bags are. Oh, 
And we'll need a clean barrel. Where are our barrels? Are they still in here? Let's grab a barrel. Do you see any plastic bags? Mm -hmm. We'll have to ask mom where the plastic bags are. There's two sets. There's some in the barn and there's some in the back of my Suburban. Okay, I'll get them out of the Suburban because they don't need to be there. Good. See all those plastic bags? Yeah. That's the bag in the sheet. Okay. I have to carry You carry? Okay. You carry one. You got them all? I got them all. Okay, thanks. Put it up here. Now, I realize we need zip ties. I've been walking around with zip ties in my coat pocket all morning. I don't know where I put it. Just got done milking flossing. Thank you, honey. Probably hair, hair short of a gallon. So she's starting to dry off as she gets towards the end of her lactation. Hey, come on. We'll be drying you off soon enough. You'll be giving us a baby by a stud muffin. That's gonna be a cool looking calf. Come on. Hey, thanks for bringing the pail down. Thank you. Oh, where'd you guys get that? My garden. Mama's garden. Are you but, serious? Yeah. Wait, your uh, kitchen garden. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right. Are Still there more? Peppers. Oh, there's so many ripening. Yay. Peppers take forever. Let's have that for breakfast, huh? And our eggs? Yeah. You helping Mama this morning? Mm-hmm. Good. This is my talking teddy bear right here. Mm-hmm. You gonna help me milk now, just uh... mm -hmm. Look, yeah. I can milk three teats. <laughs> you got two teats Eight. in one hand. Good job. <laughs> it's hard. I almost caught it. Caught most of it. Is that our poop wheelbarrow over there, Josiah, or is that our clean wheelbarrow? All right, bring it. Josiah, you know what's coming next? What? P. Inside. Oh, what I say? Look how hard the back is. All right, you want me to make another prediction? Sure. Next, she's gonna poop again. Yeah, probably. All right, you want to grab the milk cup? Okay, well thankfully she didn't have that much more and she hadn't pooped yet. She Maybe she'll will. poop while we're taking this milk up. She hasn't done it yet. Wow. She's made me a liar, hasn't she? Can you get that off? Uh, no. I need your help. Bend him a little bit. Uh -huh. That's good. He likes that. You are free. Go. <laughs> Into the line here. Let's go straight through there. Run enough post. Forgot the line. Let's go way back down towards the house and grab the line. The guineas found each other. Stud knows what's up. He stopped right here to mow the lane. It's fine with me. Look how good the job they did on mowing that lane. Look who's back. This time you're gonna put a hole in our wall. Yeah, this time I'm really doing some damage. <laughs> you can put our fridge back in there? Yep. You think that's a good idea or a bad idea? 
I think it's a good idea. Okay, good. <laughs> it gives you some more room. It's too late now, isn't it? Yeah, it's coming even with this. Oh, nice. Yeah. I like it. Thank you. It's a big marble. Yeah. Everybody remember Randolph from this fabulous kitchen reno? Hey, if you're going with your mom, you gotta find shoes. Where's your Crocs, man? You had them this morning. Do you need to wear those with socks? How many t people does it take to go get a freezer? Two freezers. <laughs> get in hell on one finger. Well, what did we do without that Suburban? We've been using it like every day. <laughs> I guess we got it just in time. All right, guys, see ya. I'll be editing. Well, I'll help you load it when you get back. Back to the EDIT. Alright, been editing. It's almost four. I think Rebecca's back. Oh, we got a closed in wall. It's looking great. What'd you get? A Dewalt headlamp. Yep. Boy, we need that. Yeah. <laughs> Surprising, we don't have a headlamp yet. Good job, Jonah. This is gonna be interesting. Getting these in by ourselves. This evening, one of the guineas has found its way into the sea monsters. Dorks, but they have found each other. We're gonna get Moose up. He's been with mom 24 seven for like three weeks. She's given a gallon in the morning, I want two. So let's put Moose up. We don't really want her, we just want uh, Phyllis. That might not happen. Oh well. They all came in, that's all right. St uh, Phyllis must be giving off a, a special scent. See, it's as easy as that. There we go. We'll get in here, herd mom out, keep the baby in. There we go, that's it. That's all there's to it. Put these guys back out. How's he doing, Mom? Doing good. Hi, hey, buddy. It's first night in the stall. There might be some bellowing tonight, Mom. This is the end of the use for today, their paddock. So we're gonna be busy tomorrow. So let's go ahead and set up their paddock. I'm thinking, let's keep going down through there. They're loving this stuff. Because this looked like that. All right, a day's worth of paddock. Took about 30 minutes. Usually, doesn't necessarily take that long, but hey, we threw in some brush. Sometimes, you gotta do what you gotta do. Keep these guys on new ground. We're gonna get them behind the cows really soon. We got some more yardage we can mow. No one wants to mess with me, this is a <laughs> No. Nobody wants to mess with you. You got a whip. Okay. Rebecca, have you figured out which? It's the little one. Keep him? No, that's the little one's jumping. You're gonna kill him. Keep the okay. big one. So I vote Escalito goes. 
and one of these guys. I don't care. The little one jumps out, but it doesn't matter because he's going to be with the... Okay. But I guess he won't always be in the wrestling ring, though. Right. He'll be with everybody. Let's see. Let's see something. Help! Let's see. Help! Oh, Papa, there's help. Oh, let me we can also replace a wither down the road yeah. with another one. Or aren't we going to think about getting a donkey? Yeah, I mean, there's those two donkeys that I was looking at. So. Look at I want oh. more! We can get one for the ram and one for the... Then we just have two donkeys. I have to ask that lady. You guys would want donkeys? Yes! yes. Lily wants a horse, so she's not grateful. Well, a donkey's as good as a horse. Yeah, you can ride it. <laughs> You want to see the cute little donkeys? Oh, oh little donkeys! Little donkeys. Ooh! Ooh! Nice. Me and Johnny like little donkey. Wait, Johnny. Oh, that one. There's that one. one. And then are there's those some. guardian donkeys and people. They're friendly. miniature donkeys. Minis are the only ones we recommend for introduction to sheep or goats. Adults are too unpredictable and can actually hurt the baby sheep. They're 900 each. Mama, hmm. we won't hurt our sheep. They're coming with us standing here. Mom, you've trained them so well. Is Esco equal bigger than Nacho? Yes. Like, Guys, for real? Nacho needs to yeah. be bigger than but I don't think he always will be. You don't want to do that stuff. No, Papa. Like, for real. Like, in the movie. No. Who's bigger? Nacho. He was